Okay, two or three weeks ago I mentioned that I was going to put a, since I have to block this window anyway to keep the sun from messing up the my camera when I'm shooting a shot like this, that I was going to put this up as a piece of plywood just painted white, but I'm going to use that as a sticker board. And if anybody wants to send me a sticker, I'll be happy to put it up here and show it in, in all of my videos. Well, I got uh, not a sticker, but a little wooden plaque here. From uh, this is from my friend Jim Senecola at Totally Wood Workshop, and he included a little piece of double sided tape. So, uh, let's see if I can get this off here. Comes and we'll stick it on right here, right smack in the middle. And then I also got a sticker from uh, Dennis Nolan at Ozark Arts and Crafts. So, Dennis, I'm going to stick your sticker on here as well. If I can. Okay. So I'm going to put this. Right there. Alright, so if you want your uh, sticker displayed on my sticker board, uh, you can just send me an email. I'll have the email address down below in the video description. And uh, I'll be happy to put it up here and show it in every video I do. So now let's get started on today's project. A couple of weeks ago, I got this package in the mail from my good friend Larry Galt from the great state of Texas. And uh, I think he said there's some spalted elm in here. So I haven't even opened it up. Uh, I've got... Uh, Got my little knife here and let's open this thing up and see what's in here. Okay, nice little piece of uh, some crotch here. This, uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty nice here. And I think I can maybe... Uh, Maybe get it rounded off just a little bit here where it'll fit on the lathe and we'll see what we can make out of this thing. Thank you very much, Larry. I certainly appreciate it. I took a big Forstner bit and kind of made a flat spot so I could attach a face plate. And then I put it here on the lathe and found out that it was still a little bit too big. So I took it over to my bandsaw and kind of trimmed it off a little bit. So it just does fit on the lathe. And here I'm kind of spinning it up to see where... Uh, you know how fast I'm going to be able to turn this thing. Looks like I'm going to be stuck at about uh, 350 RPM till I get it uh, a little more balanced. Right here it looks like the lathe is really moving around but it's really not that bad. I found out later that my uh, camera arm was loose so it was kind of flopping around and which makes it look like the lathe is uh, dancing around. But the lathe was actually pretty steady.
Okay, I'm going to have to cut this video a little bit short here. I wasn't able to finish this uh, just quite yet because uh, when I started getting down to the bottom, I've still got a ways to go, but I started running into all this punky stuff right here. So I'm uh, going to have to put some epoxy or something in there and get that to harden up before I finish taking the bottom all down. And I think I'm going to go ahead and re refinish this whole thing, re-sand it, and uh, refinish. But I wanted to give a big shout out to my buddy Larry Galt who sent me this piece. Uh, he said it's a piece of spalted oak and it is just fantastic. It's got spalting, it's got uh, crotch, it's got bug holes, you name it, it's got it. Uh, it's a really neat looking piece of wood and I had a blast uh, turning it here on my little Harbor Freight lathe or as I like to call it my Harbor Matic. <laughs> If you uh, haven't seen the modifications I've done to this lathe, I'll uh, have a link in the description down below. You can go check out that video. But it uh, it handled this really nice. So uh, anyway, I'm going to put this while I still got the tenon on it and remember how it went. I'm going to put it back on the chuck and then come out here and check it in the morning and see if I've got any new cracks or uh, anything going. It was at about uh, about 13% uh, on the moisture meter. So. Maybe, maybe it won't be too bad, or hopefully it won't move a whole lot. So, anyway. Alright, so that's, uh, that's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave me a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And if you'd like to see the future videos that I do, be sure and hit the subscribe button. And make sure you hit the little bell so you get uh, a notification every time I upload a new video. I try to put out a new video every Saturday morning. And... Uh, I guess that's going to do it. So until then, thank you very much for watching.